Who woke up today and was like, it's Friday? Because <laughs> it is. Uh, 331 days to exit plan. Let's mark off another one. Bam. Getting closer and closer. Uh, Monday. Monday, I'm going to be doing a three day fast. Begins after dinner on Monday. If you want to join me, if you want to learn a little bit about what I do for fasting, I'm here. I like talking about it. Uh, anything I talk about, I put at brentevans.net. Uh, ooh, I finished one of my goals. I'm so excited. I already know that, yes, one of them is done. And uh, I will definitely have a new list for Monday for my. Uh, five goals for the week that I can put in my little field notes journal here. And what that was, I finished a book. I finished reading this one, uh, the biography of Chris Cornell. It was a great book, great, great book. And um, uh, just just the story of, of where he was, what he went through, all the music that he created, the love that he had for it. And then, of course, the sad, sad ending. Um, really, really well done. I, mean, I teared up even at the end. I mean, it, it, you know where I was headed when he took his life. And yet still, I'm reading that chapter. And you're reading how the bodyguard kicked down the door. And yeah, he's there. And he's trying to bring him back. And you're like, maybe, maybe you will? Five years. It's going to be five years this May without Chris Cornell. What was really, um, what I really enjoyed about this this book is that I would constantly pull different albums of uh, Soundgarden, Audio Slave, or Chris Cornell, and uh, listen to them as I was reading the book. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. Also, um, my my daughter is going around sounding things out, so. Yeah, she, it's good to get this one done and up on the shelf now because she kept asking, why is that star there? All I could say is, because he is. He is a star. <laughs> That's all I could do. Um, I'm ready for some new music because, not bashing this, <laughs> my son is the Tin Man in his school's production of The Wizard of Oz. So I've heard a lot of Tin Man music around the house. When a man's an empty kettle, he should be on his metal, and yet I'm torn apart. Just because I'm presuming that I could be kind of human if I only had a heart. <laughs> I could probably sing that song. I won't. I won't. I need, I need to keep everybody here. <laughs> New Music Friday. Um, buddy of mine, Bob, and uh, and business partner, he texted me the other day how he <laughs> he just heard Red Hot Chili Peppers on an oldie station in Philly. I asked what song. It was Under the Bridge. I had to look it up. That song was released on March 10th, 1992. That's basically 30 years ago. And 30 years ago, 1992, any song that was from 1962 would be heard on an oldie station in any city in America. We're getting old. <laughs> anyway, new album from the Red Hot Chili Peppers is gonna be here in April. And uh, it's unlimited love, you get 17 tracks. Uh, also, Rick Rubin is uh, the producer on this album. And I'm excited about this. This marks the band's first release since like 2006 with uh, guitarist John Frusciante. Um, he, he was on all the kick-ass albums, so he's, he's back for this one. Today we do get the single Black Summer. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm still hoping for, you know, like a Sir Psycho Sexy or Suck My Kiss song, but um, I'll take it. I'll still take it. Uh, Dr. Dre released a six song EP, all of them featured in Grand Theft Auto, The Contract. GTA Vice City, that was my game. I played that, oof, that'd be a problem. It was 3 a.m. just like that. At that point, I was like, who needs sleep? One more game, let's go. Anyway, <laughs> these songs, everyone's hearing them because it's in Grand Theft Auto, the new one. And um, I can now hear it because it's on the streaming services. Because I properly don't have that game because otherwise 
I wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> um, I was listening to uh, gospel today with um, Eminem singing along with him. Um, by the way, Super Bowl halftime. I don't know if you've seen the lineup, but yeah, it's Dr. Dre. You also get Snoop Dogg, Mary J. Blige, Eminem, and Kendrick Lamar. All of them. <sighs> I mean, last year it was like you had the weekend. This year, <clears throat> look out. Uh, by the way, talking about being heard on an oldies radio station, Dr. Dre's album Chronic, released back in 1992. That's 30 years ago. Who's putting Dre on an oldie station? I mean, it's one thing to get Flea mad at you, but get Dre mad at you. I don't know about that. Um, <laughs> full album drop today from Korn. Uh, that's Requiem is out. Only nine songs. That's so close to an EP. But um, 32 minutes worth of new music. I'm still game. I'm all in. Recent single that they are pushing is called Lost in the Grandeur. Uh, <laughs> FYI, Korn's debut album, Korn, was released in 1994. That's 28 years ago. Ooh, that's That could be on an oldie station too. All right, Megan Fox's fiance, Machine Gun Kelly, and Will Smith's daughter, Willow, they uh, released a new song today. It's called Emo Girl. Easily, easily could have been performed by uh, Blink-182 back in the work tour days. Um, that's a concert from the early 2000s classic concerts uh, anyway it's a good song nice hook good beat gets in your head uh, it's off the sixth studio album from Machine Gun Kelly that's called Mainstream Sellout that's all out on March 25th pick on the guy but man six albums already and um, it is a good one it is a good one BrentEvans.net that's where I put everything I babble about quote of the day isn't up there because it's in here took it from this book yeah gosh this is okay Chris Cornell see you didn't read the book with me I, I got stuff going through my head uh, this is from Chris Cornell's eldest daughter Lily on stage at a concert that was remembering Chris Cornell and this is what she said the most influential advice he gave me was that his success did not come from a desire for success it was more from a passion and an absolute love for what he did. Chris Cornell. Love that guy. Enjoy the now, people. Make it a great weekend. Make good choices all weekend long. I'll be back at you Monday. I'll see you then.